genetic problem, I said that uh, ERA is actually a poison. And then I gave you Sandy Colfax, and ERA is seven or 2.76. How is that possible? You think about poison as a discrete variable. They have a score run or they don't. But the difference between that and the binomial is you can have one, two, three, four, five, as many runs as you want in a game. Okay? So again, I have an ERA of 2.76. That means in nine innings of one game, he's going to average 2.76 runs. Okay? Let's say he uh, pitches for uh, four games. Oops. Okay? And let's say he had eight runs. Was this just random variation or did he have an exceptionally good one? So what I've got then is n is equal to four, four games. My point of interest is eight. My earned run has been 2.76. So if I take n times p, this would be my average I expect to see for four. That's actually equal to 11.04 runs. So if I, I type that all in to Excel, it would be 4, my NP would be equal to 11.04, and I'd want, uh, I'm sorry, I'd have 8, 8, 11.4, and I'd want to have true. Punch that all in, and I get 22.85%. So there's about a quarter, per, a quarter of the time he's just going to have eight runs in four games just by random chance. So it's not exceptional.